Someone else bought because? So there's two kinds of money on the stock market. There's smart money, people who know what they're doing, and there's stupid money. Here's my choice for you. Who do you want to be? Smart money. With the knowledge you have right now, can you be the smart money? Yes, I do. No, really? not at the moment. No. no. <laughs> Is that another reason why you want to do the course and learn more? Yes, yes. Okay. I'm going to move on to the daily trade idea. But before I do that, is this share price movement thing clear to you? Yes. You understand that shares go up, down, and sideways all the time? Mm -hmm. And you understand the great thing about that it is creates opportunity for us to buy low, sell high, and make some profits. Yes, I do. Okay. Now, Thank because you. you're a new client and you don't have any knowledge, surely you are scared to get started uh, trading. Mm -hmm. I don't want to put my head into something. I don't know what I'm going to. Okay. So I need someone to actually look after me while I learn to trade. Okay. We are not going to look after you. We're going to help you to empower yourself to make a success. So can I show you how Please we do. do that? For me... An important thing for you to do, Jean, is to trade ASAP. I'm going to tell you right now that I'm going to sign you up on this course today. And within a week from now, I want you to trade. Even if you know nothing. Okay. Now that sounds scary, not so. Mm -hmm. Can I first explain to you why I want you to trade ASAP? Please do. And then I'm going to explain to you how I'm going to make it possible for you. Okay. No one's excited about learning material, am I right? No. No one's excited about learning how to operate software and stuff like that. No, it's only money and my wife that gets me excited. There we are. Well, thank God it's your wife. <laughs> <laughs> it could be someone else. And then your life will be complicated like some people I know. <laughs> I won't say any names on the recording. Um, okay. When you don't trade, is there any reason for you tomorrow morning to wake up and look at the stock market? Um, there's an interest, but if I miss it, there's I'm no a, compelling there's no, reason. There's, there's, there's no reason, it's just for, for Pete's sake, you know. Of course. So, I want you to trade so that <laughs> there's a reason for you to look at the market and see if they're going up, down, or sideways, or what's happening. The very moment you start making money, you'll become really excited, and that's where you're going to learn and make a success of this. Are you with me? Okay, so what do we do to help you? Every single day, we send you a daily trade idea. We send you more than one trade idea. We send you a trade idea by email. Now, what do we do in this trade idea? We tell you what shares to buy. We tell you uh, where to buy. Um, and I'm just going to write down the word here, buy. Is it only on email or is there some other communication as well? No, I'm going to tell you right now. Please, guys, put your phones on silent, otherwise my recording has got all these uh, sheep uh, ringtones on it. <laughs> okay, we send you an email once a day with a trade idea. But I found that people don't read. So, <laughs> what we also do is we send you a minimum of one trade idea by SMS every single day. Because all of us, I don't know about you, but I don't even go to the bathroom without my cell phone. Am I right? Yes. Is there anyone in this room who goes to the toilet without their phone? <laughs> no ways. Are you sure? I got yeah, bought you yeah. without my phone. Okay. My wife doesn't even pass without her phone. <laughs> but the thing is, it's not making money at the moment. As soon as my phone starts making money for me, I'll definitely keep it Maybe, aside. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So let me show you something now which is really important. Once I've uh, sent this photo of the screenshot that I took, um, I'm going to show you a trade idea by SMS, and I'm just going to show you today's trade ideas, okay? I get it, I get it on the phone. It's, it's no? Really, really, really. As a salesperson, mm -hmm. you have to be in a position where you re receive the trade ideas on your phone. Mm -hmm. You can't get the trade idea from me. Mm -hmm. I want it to come from the company so that there's credibility for you when you show the trade, uh, trade ideas, yeah. okay? And I'm specifically, happening there, I'm specifically <laughs> saying this for... Giannis's benefit, for example, because Giannis has sold this product before, but he's used the JSC handbook, which is really, really old school. So, let me show you the story of trade ideas. So, here is a trade idea. 
and I'm going to show it so that Giannis and um, Jean can see it. This morning, okay. You got yours this morning. Mm. Cool. I'm using that only. Okay. So on Friday morning at 9.21, we sent out a trade idea to clients. Let me explain the trade idea to you properly and slowly. I'm not just brushing over it because I want to make sure that you understand what I'm doing. So on Friday morning, it said QT Trade Idea. QT stands for Quick Trade, our stockbroking firm. Then it said uh, that was the 12th of August. It's the date. Next to it, it's the name of the company, in this case, SAPI. You see there's a three-letter code in brackets behind it? Every company's got a three-letter code. SAPI is SAP. And then it says to you, buy at 67 rand. So if I just write it down here as an example, uh, the trade idea said, uh, buy at 67 rand. I'm going to write there, buy. We call that your entry point. Okay? And then it says here, TP of 73 rand. So I'm going to write it down, and then I'm going to explain it to you. 73 rand is your take profit level. Now, you would have thought that I'd call this my exit point, but I don't call it my exit point for a specific reason. When we trade shares, before we even do the trade, we decide at what level we're going to buy, and we decide already where we're going to sell it when it gets to that point. That's why it's called a, a take profit or a target point. Okay. We don't get emotionally involved. We decide before and what we're going to do. So do you understand? That's the trade idea. Your entry point is 67 bucks and your target is at 73 rand. You with me? Okay. Here I, I can show you more uh, trade ideas. On Friday, a second trade idea was sent out for MediClinic. It said buy at 190 rand. Target price is 201 rand. And then so far this morning, there was a trade idea for Bright. It said buy at 116 rand and the target price is 125 so, John, can I tell you what we expect of you? In the beginning, when you get this trade idea, all you're going to do is take your cell phone, you're going to open the app that we've installed on there for you, and all you need to do in the beginning is know how to place the trade, okay. and you're trading. What about the selling factor on it, Hattis? If I need to sell at uh, 73? Say that again? If I need to sell at 73 and I can't do it, no, let me explain to you what you do. When you open the platform on your cell phone, mm -hmm. you will put in what company you want to buy. You will put in how many you want to buy. Mm -hmm. You'll put in the level that you buy it at and the level where you sell it at. And then you put your phone down. You can now go and do your job as a teacher or an engineer or whatever. Can you just repeat it again? What must I do? You put in what company you're going to buy, mm -hmm. how many you're going to buy, you put in the price where you're going to buy it at, and you put in the price where it must sell. And you press the button. Then you put your phone down. Shouldn't you put in the stop loss also? Yes. I'm not even going to mention stop loss now, because I don't explain the stop loss in the sales presentation unless people ask me about it. I also want you to note that when I was showing the trade ideas, I didn't spend any time on showing him the stop loss. I only pointed out the things that I want him to know. Okay, so let me explain to you how it happens in real life with our platform. The person would put in his trade on the phone, or he can do it in his computer or on his program. He would put the phone down. He would go on with the rest of his life. Half an hour later, as an example, if the share hits the price that he wanted to have as his entry point, it will automatically do the trade for him. And then three hours later, as an example, if the share hits the target price, it automatically trades him out of the share and the money will be in his account. Why do I explain this to you? You don't have to watch the market all day. You place the trade and off it goes. You with me? Mm -hmm. You understand everything that I've said to you so far? So you understand the profit will you make, you'll make would be the difference between this price and that price. CFD. Contract for difference. Okay. I'm not explaining anything no. about contracts for difference. I'm not explaining anything about gearing. I'm keeping it really simple and uncomplicated. Yeah, okay. If, uh, uh, any case, I, I want to 
record a stock standard sales presentation. I'm really going off track. So I'm going to move on to, no, no, I want to move on to the next part. So what I now want to do is actually, before you start calculating, let me explain to you what I'm going to do. So uh, I always say to people, if you want to be a good salesperson of this product, of anything in my opinion, you've got to be a good teacher because people see this for the first time in their life. Mm -hmm. And if you are poor at teaching them and they don't understand what you're doing, they won't sign up because they're confused. Okay, so what are we going to do? I want to show you how much money you could have made if you did this trade. So it's quite simple. We Again, starting with 5,000 rand, just like we did in the bank. Am I right? Now we're going <coughs> to buy these shares at 67 rand. So before you do a calculation, I want to ask you, how will I calculate how many shares I'll purchase? 5,000 divided by 67. 5,000 divided by 67 rand? It gives you 74 shares. 74 shares. Mm -hmm. Now, watch here quickly. I'm going to take my red pen. Can you see I'm sitting with 74 shares? Doesn't sound like a lot. Doesn't sound like a lot. It's not a big deal, am I right? Mm -hmm. But now you can see the market's moving. And later that day, it hits my 73 rand. Mm -hmm. But before you do anything further, do you understand I still own 74 shares? Nothing changed with the shares. The only thing that's changed is the share price In between. is now higher. So to see how much money I would have, how would I calculate that? Um, okay, first of all, you take the difference. The In, 70, yeah, 73 minus uh, okay, 64. You don't take the difference. Mm -hmm. And Let me explain uh, my method to you. Start with 5,000 rand. Yes. Divided by 67. Gives me? 74. Now I keep the 74 in the calculator. Mm -hmm. A little bit later, the shares hit 73 bucks. Yeah. So multiply by 73. How much money will 5, I have? 5,447. Uh, 5,447. Which is giving me, in one day trades, more than my bank would have given me in one year. Okay, now remember you're a client. You wouldn't no, know that. So <laughs> watch what I do now. Okay, watch what I do now. So I'm going to ask you a range of questions now. Yes. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. What is the profit that you've made? 447. 447 rand. That's correct. How long did it take you to make this money? Uh, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, depending on my phone. Well, it depends on how long the trade took for yes. getting in an entry point and getting to your target. So it could be half an hour, it could be three hours, it could be the course of the day. That's true. Am I right? Mm -hmm. But let's say it took me the day. Um, remember these questions I've now compared? Yes. Profit and how long? Yeah. Uh, how much did you start with here? 5,000. 5,000. And let me ask you. When your money's in your trading account, do you think it's stuck there for a year or is it available? Uh, available ASAP. So you understand the fact that you can withdraw your profits and your capital anytime you like. Mm -hmm. uh, a guy like you, what can you do with, um, with 500 and 447 rand? Before you talk about today, <laughs> what can you do with it? Okay, I'll rather reinvest it because it's telling me to make money, but yeah. for a day... Um, Almost a tank of petrol. Okay. I want to explain something to you that's really cool. If I get you to trade on Monday and you make profit, what do you think you're going to do on Tuesday? Trade again. And then on Wednesday? Trade again. And Thursday? Trade again. <laughs> Friday I'll reward myself. So you want to trade every day of the week? It is true, yeah. Can I show you an interesting example? Mm -hmm. Let's say you can make an average of 447 Rand per day. Now, before I continue, do you understand that there will be days that you could make more money than this? It is true. Do you understand that there will be days where you lose some money? It is also true. Okay. I want you to be clear that there are variables that will impact your performance. Mm -hmm. If you start with more than 5,000 Rand, you'll obviously make a lot more money. Yep. If, now, imagine if you just put another zero behind that one. Exactly. But before we get to that point, I just want to stick with the basics. So if you can make 447 Rand a day and you trade five days... How much money will you make for the week? It's 2235, 2235 rand. Okay, that doesn't make you excited, am I right? I'm not yet. Okay, how many weeks in a month? Times four. 
8,948,840. Okay, how many months in a year? Times 12. 